Vita. After 18 years in a cocoon, Iron Butterfly intends to sprout wings again. Dennis Michael has the story from Hollywood. Inagata de Vida, all 17 minutes of it, was a big hit in 1968, but few remember how big. The Iron Butterfly album spent a year in the top 10 on the charts and racked up sales of over a million units, becoming the first platinum album in record history. It might have been the foundation of a brilliant, long-lasting career for Iron Butterfly, but it didn't turn out that way. You hear it once in a while on the radio, but you don't really hear about Iron Butterfly, and it, and it did have a, a few achievements that, you know set some records and whatnot. Our management, I think, uh, burned us out. They just worked us to death. Yeah. Uh, that was their philosophy, you know, get them while they're hot. We're going to do it a little different this time. This time, Iron Butterfly's reunion began when Atlantic Records' 40th anniversary drew near, and the label invited the sundered members of the group to perform together again at the party. After an 18-year gap, the original members of Iron Butterfly played again for the first time. And the results were... Awkward. <laughs> I mean, quite frankly, uh, it felt, it felt great. I mean, I love feeling awkward to a certain extent, you know, it makes me feel alive. The music didn't stay awkward, though, and now Iron Butterfly is rehearsing for its return to concert stages, conscious that things have changed since they last worked together 18 years ago. The figures you see people making at, uh, you know, what was Pink Floyd just made a million two hundred thousand dollars for one show. I mean, our biggest show, I think, was maybe, you know, fifty thousand dollars, you know, for Mile High Stadium in Denver. You know, it's uh, things have really changed. The reunited group will have to achieve a lofty altitude in order to match its first flight together 20 years back. But in any case, the Iron Butterfly is airborne again. Dennis Michael.